You are warmly welcome back to this channel. Thank you for returning. I'm really grateful to see you. I'm back to share a little bit about uh, the case going on as we're looking for our dear son, baby testimony, who is five and a half, <clears throat> excuse me, um, who vanished a couple of years ago and the search is still on to find him. And we believe in God that he will be found. We won't give up. One, what I want to focus on today is the fact that all the people who have spoken negatively, apart from one though that I am aware of, who have done everything, said, done, are still doing and still saying negative things about our sister Ruth Matthew and this case, do have children. Even Jeremiah, who's the patron of the site where the child vanished, I've heard he has children. The people who come to threaten others, to scream, to shout, to abuse other people on social media, I've heard they have children. Even the one that came from the nation of Zambia, the, the lady with two, four children, all these people have children. It is so shameful and disgraceful that any human being, any man or woman who has a heart, who wakes up every day, who has children, could even go against Ruth Matthew. The question I will keep asking, does the life of testimony not matter? Has he not got rights because he's a child? How do you feel comfortable to sit down wherever you do and make those videos, send those voice notes to say nasty, mean, reckless things about Ruth? Oh God, how heartless could you be? Yes, children have been getting lost all over the decades, over the years, and he's not the only one. But this is the one that is close that we know about. Are we going to fold our hands and allow these atrocities to carry on? For goodness sake, you do not have to be a, a dad or a mom to understand the value, the sanctity of life. So far as you are a human being, that compassion, I know that today the world tends to have lost the humanity, the essence of humanity. But thank God not everyone has. There are still billions of people and I'm sure that there are more. It's just that they are not very noisy. Thank God baby testimony's case is revealing and bringing all those gallant warriors, people who are still humane, who still have love inside of them, people who care, people who know and understand the human code of conduct, who know and understand love, who know and understand truth, and they want it to prevail. This case is revealing all of them. So you blogger, you who claim to be um, some related to God in some ways, they call themselves all sorts of titles, all you titled people, bloggers, fathers, mothers, I'm clapping for you. I am cheering for you. Well done. Fantastic job you're doing. You have your own child or your children. And you're comfortable and happy to watch baby testimony stay lost. You are happy that him, his mother is being intimidated, is being harassed, dragged to court over nonsense because she spoke and cried for her child to be released. May the blessings of God be upon your lives, guys. 
one thing I'm going to say is this. When the bad things that are coming, that will be unleashed with regard to this child's case, when they would descend, <laughs> I just hope you would find people that would help you. You would find people who would speak to you. I can relate with the, the lost soul who is running up and down, screaming and shouting, little one that she can sleep. I understand she hasn't got a child. So yes, I understand she hasn't got a child, so she cannot relate to the pains of labor, of pregnancy, carrying a child for however long and having the child only to lose that child. But I'm thankful to God that baby testimony will be found. So all those people who have got their own children, whether you're in the comments, you're a blogger, you are the patron, the wife of the patron of the premises where that, that child disappeared, you are a follower, a worshiper of that person, and you are in support that this case should be squashed that Matthew should not speak. If you have children, what goes around comes around. When things happen to you, I hope you would receive the reward that you deserve. Children are precious. They are the heritage of God. The Bible says that. Baby testimony will be found to the glory of our great God. Thank you for joining me. God bless you.